this lesson, we're going to cover how you can dynamically use the offset function in Google Sheets to always return the last row containing values in your data set. So you can see in this example here, we have invoice orders here. We have a column for order date, one for invoice number, and one for order amount. We're constantly adding to this list, so the last row number will be changing daily. So before we get into the offset with a dynamic method of pulling back the last row, I just want to quickly demonstrate how the offset function works. So the first argument is your cell reference. That is where you want to begin. Think of that as your starting point. It can be any cell reference, but generally when you have a column of vertical data, the best approach is to go with the cell that contains your header. So we'll start in cell A1. The next input is how many rows do you wanna offset? Well, we wanna go down one. Let's just say we wanna grab this first row in our data set. So we wanna offset one from our header, one row. Next, how many columns do we want to offset? Well, I want to stay in the same column, so I'm going to put a value of zero. Now the height, how many rows of data do you want to return? I want to return just one row for now. The width, well, our data set is three columns wide, so I want to return a width of three cells. You can see this returns our first row in our data set because we offset one row down for this cell here and zero columns to the right. We also said, hey, pull back a width of three cells on this end of our argument. If we had put three rows, it would pull back the two rows below the first row it retrieved. So that is how that works. The thing is, it's not really that dynamic. You have to tell it what you want it to pull back. It's not very useful. So if we wanted to utilize the offset function to pull back the last row always, no matter what that last row is, what we can do is insert our offset of function again. We're gonna start at cell A1. Just going to hit F4 to lock that down. This time, rather than input a hard number in the number of rows we want to offset, we're going to insert the count A function and select column A. And what the count A function does is it counts any cell in a range that has a value, any non-blank cell. So this will count all our cells containing data, including our header, which would be 67. Now, in order to get the last row, we need to subtract one from that because remember, our starting point is cell A1. So if we offset 67 rows from A1, that's gonna take us to row 68, which is the first blank cell in our data set. So you need to subtract one. How many columns do we want to offset? Well, I want to pull back the date in this cell here. So I don't want to offset any columns. I want to input zero. I want our height to be one. I only want to retrieve the last row. So it's one. The width of the data I want to retrieve is three cells wide because we have three columns in our data set here. So I'm gonna input three and hit enter. And you can see this pulls back our last row. The order date was June 28th, $205.52. And if we go down there, that is our last row. So if I change this to July 1st, 2020, and just added some random numbers in here, maybe we'll make this $10,000 and go back up to the top, you can see it now automatically pulls back the last row no matter what it is. So what if we wanted to 
get the last five rows of our data set? Well, we begin our offset function again. Start at cell A1. Again, we're going to insert the count A for column A to count all the non non-empty cells and this time we're going to subtract five from that number to get the fifth item from the bottom because the count will return the total number of rows containing data and then we're going to go five backwards from that for our row offset our column offset we want to again stay at zero we want our height to be five rows and we want our width to be three columns. So I hit enter and you can see this pulls back the last five rows of our data set. I can copy this and paste it up top just to make certain that these are all the same. If we subtracted all these values here, we should have all zeros. And we do. So that is how you can dynamically retrieve the last row in a data set with the offset function in Google Sheets. Hey, if you like what you saw today, please subscribe to the Excel Cave. Thanks for watching.